So good morning to you all and you're all very welcome to St. Lazarian's Church here in Jumfe as we gather to pay our respects and give thanks for the life of Bab Style. I'd like to welcome Father Shem among us. Uh, he's uh, been working over in uh, Knockbeg uh, College and you're very welcome uh, this morning amongst us as well. At the beginning of our Mass this day, I just want to offer our deepest sympathies to Bab's family at this sad time. <coughs> to Patricia, John, Martin and Kenneth. To our grandchildren, Patrick and Cathy, Connor and Aaron, Katie, Anna and Jack. To our daughters-in-law, Eleanor and Trina. To our sisters, Hannah, Sissy, Betty and Eileen to our brother-in-law Martin and cousin Tom Murphy, and to our nieces and nephews, and indeed to the overall extended family here gathered. We also remember those gone before us on a day such as today, remembering today Bab's husband Paddy and also her daughter-in-law Bridget, who have gone to their eternal reward. There's certainly no good time to lose a loved one but this time of pandemic makes it all the more difficult and isolating for us. So I just want to assure you, uh, uh, Bab's family, of the prayerful support of the community at this sad time. So we begin our celebration this day by placing symbols of uh, Bab's fate on our coffin. And we place the Book of the Gospel on her coffin because in life, Babs cherished the gospel of Christ. May Christ now greet Babs with these words of eternal life. Come, blessed of my father. Maybe, Shem, you place the, coffin, or the book of the gospels for us. And the crucifix is already on the coffin because in baptism, Babs received the sign of the cross. May Babs now share in Christ's victory over sin and death. And as we know, there was far more to Bab's life than just her, her fate. Bab's was a great community person, great family person and all the rest. So Trina is going to tell us about some symbols of Bab's life that are going to be brought to the altar. Lil brings Bab's rolling pin to the altar, a symbol of her love for baking, which was, was so well known for and brought many a charge and buns and visits to her many friends. Caroline brings up a deck of cards symbolizing Bab's love for the game of whist and her involvement in all aspects of her local community. 
Garden Madden brings forward a family photo representing the importance of family to Babs. My brothers and sisters, we believe that all the ties of friendship and affection which knit us as one throughout our lives do not unravel with death. Confident that God always remembers the good we have done and forgives our sins, let us pray asking God to gather Babs to himself. Lord, in our grief we turn to you. Are you not the God of love who open your ears to all? Listen to our prayers for Babs, whom you've called out of this world. Lead her to your kingdom of light and peace, and count her among the saints in glory. This prayer we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. And we now have the opening hymn of our Mass. <laughs> And in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. So we're gathered here today in sadness to celebrate the funeral mass for Bab style. We're gathered to celebrate and give thanks for her life and presence among us, the gift she was to each of us. And in our mass this day, we commend her to God's love and mercy. As we gather to celebrate her Eucharist, we gather conscious of our faults and failings, of our need of God's forgiveness. So let us pause now for a few moments to call to mind our sins, so as to make our peace with the Lord. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. 
And may Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and may he bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And so we pray for Babs. O God, Almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery, Babs, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. I invite you now to be seated for our readings as Katie and Cathy come forward to lead us in our readings. <laughs> A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is a season for everything, a time for every occupation under heaven, a time for giving birth, a time for dying, a time for planting, a time for uprooting what has been planted, a time for killing, a time for healing, a time for knocking down, a time for building, a time for tears, a time for laughter, a time for mourning, a time for dancing, a time for throwing stones away, a time for gathering them up, a time for embracing, a time to refrain from embracing, a time for searching, a time for losing, a time for keeping, a time for throwing away, a time for tearing, a time for sewing, a time for keeping silent, a time for speaking, a time for loving, a time for hating, a time for war, a time for peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From the book of the Apocalypse, I, John, heard a voice from heaven say to me, Write down, happy are those who die in the Lord. Happy indeed, the Spirit says, now they can rest forever after their work, since their good deeds go with them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We stand to greet our gospel. The Lord be with you. 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still and trust in me. There are many rooms in my father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I'm going now to prepare a place for you. And after I've gone and prepared a place, I shall return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. You know the way to the place where I'm going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Can we be seated for a few moments? <clears throat> this morning we gather to celebrate the funeral mass of Bab's Dial. We give thanks for someone who's lived a long and fruitful life. A life filled in many ways with the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, faithfulness and gentleness. In the ha indeed, the harvest of a well-lived life. Having said that, death and parting is always painful. And even though Be Babs was blessed with a long life, I think no matter how long life is, we always experience great pain and loss when the one whom we have loved dearly passes from our midst. The death of Babs leaves an emptiness in the hearts of the Dow family that no one, can, no one else can fill. We gather here firstly to bid farewell to Babs, to pray for the repose of her soul. We also gather to support the Dial family at this time of great sadness and loss in their lives. This Mass is a sad occasion for all of us. However, it's a also a celebration of Eucharist, a celebration of Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving for Babs' life. And I feel there's much to be grateful for. I think it's fair to say that while we gather in sadness to mark Bab, the passing of Babs from this life, I think we also gather with a sense of gratitude and thanksgiving to God for the full and active life that she lived. Bab Style was born and reared in Boris. It was there she grew up attending school in Burley Murphy. And having completed her schooling, Babs entered the working world. It was around this time of, of her life she met local man Paddy Dial, and a courtship ensued between them that led them to the altar in Boris Church to be joined in marriage many moons ago now. Due to Paddy's work commitments, they lived in Eden Derry and Carlow before eventually making their home amongst us here in Carrick and it was there that they brought up their four children. Babs was a devoted wife and mother, content to be at the heart of the home, supporting our husband and family. And it was in this capacity that Babs was happiest. She was indeed a great homemaker and a hard worker, especially so when it came to the home cooking. Babs also very much loved her grandchildren and enjoyed spending time with each of them. Babs was very much community-orientated. Community she very much involved herself in various community activities, for she loved being out and about and meeting up with people. Over the years, she was president of the ICA in Ballylochan. She was also on the committee responsible for the Millennium Park in Maishlo. She also did a term on the parish council. When it came to the community, Babs was an all-rounder. She could always be depended upon to provide the lovely tasty buns and apple tarts. For her, wherever there'd be a gathering, Babs was sure to be found there with a teapot in her hand, ready to serve the tea and refreshments. And this was especially so on a Sunday evening at the whist in Michel. There was nothing Babs loved better than a game of whist. Babs very much enjoyed travelling, and her travellings took her to New York twice, where she celebrated Paddy's Day in true style. She had also been on pilgrimages to Lourdes. Babs was also very much involved in the national ploughing, 
and she travelled to ploughing events all over the world with her good friend, Lil Tracy. Like all women, Babs liked the style and the fashion. To this end, she was a regular customer of Moore's in Kilkenny. Throughout her life, Babs' style was a person of faith, and the practice of her faith was very important to her. No matter how busy she was, Babs always made time for God in her life. Prayer and Mass and receiving the Eucharist was of the utmost importance to her. Our Gospel today tells us that before his own departure, Christ said to his disciples, I'm going now to prepare a place for you. He wanted them to know that after he had left them, he would do all that he could to make it possible for them to follow and be with him again. And we can be certain too that he's also prepared a place for Babs. Because Christ sowed the seed of eternal life many years ago in Babs, when she was baptised, her first and greatest bonding into union with Christ. And now that Babs has left this world, she will now be reborn in an, into a new life, a life that has no more pain or tears, a life where parting is no more, an eternal life of happiness, a life without end. A life where she will be reunited with all whom she loved in this life. And the consoling words of Christ addressed to his disciples are now addressed to us who mourn Bab's death. Do not let your hearts be troubled. Christ has gone before us and through his experience of death he has opened up the way to eternal life for each and every one of us. And when our day comes... We pray that each and every one of us who love Babs in this world may continue to love her in eternity where heartache, pain and death have no more power. And so we pray for Babs this day that she be at peace with the Lord. As we say, eternal rest grant unto her, Lord. Let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Amen. I now invite John, Anna, Jack, Aaron and Connor to come forward to lead us in our prayer of the faithful. And perhaps we'd stand for our prayers. We pray in thanksgiving for all the blessings that came to so many people through the life of Babs. May she now receive the fullness of God's blessings in eternity. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for those who care for the sick. We give thanks to the staff of St. Mary's and St. Bridget's wards in St. Columba's Hospital, Thomastown, who looked after Granny so well since, we left her, since she left home, and to all the carers who looked after her at home. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for our departed brothers and sisters. Today we pray especially for Grandad Paddy and my mother Bridget. May Babs be reunited with them in God's kingdom where there is no more pain or suffering. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for the family and friends of Babs. In these difficult days, may the Lord be their strength and their consolation. Lord, hear us. And Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all who have suffered in this pandemic and Ask that our Lord will keep each of us safe and healthy in the days ahead. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And we make all our prayers to Our Lady's intercession as we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our dead. Amen. And we'll be seated now for our offertory. <laughs>
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of Babs, we beseech your mercy that Babs, who did not doubt your son to be a loving saviour, may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the salvation of the world, the life of the human race, the resurrection of the dead. Through him the hosts of angels adore your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, chime with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim together. Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, O Lord Jesus Christ, and by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, your sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by that same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have bought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. As we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon your church, look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, Dennis, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. 
Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. Remember your servant Babs, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who is united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection, when from the earth he will raise up in the flesh those who have died and transform our lowly body after the pattern of his own glorious body. To our departed brothers and sisters too, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, for when, when you will wipe away every tear from our eyes. For seeing you are God as you are, we shall be like you for all the ages and praise you without end, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. And through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we stand to pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and gracious graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the fate of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us mingle with the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bring eternal life to us who now receive it. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment dying. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment dying. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment dying. And Patrick is now going to come forward to read a little reflection for us. Uh, Granny, you didn't die just recently. You died some time ago. Although your body stayed a while and didn't really know. For you had got Alzheimer's, you failed to comprehend. Your body went on living, but your mind had reached its end. So I've already said goodbye to the person that we knew, the person that we truly loved, the person that was you. And so we meet again today to toast your body's end, for it was true and faithful until right at the end. And now, when we remember, we'll think of all the rest. We'll concentrate on earlier and remember all the best. For in the real scheme of things, your illness wasn't long, compared to all the happiness you brought your whole life long. We think of you as yesterday, when you were fit and well, and when we're asked about you, it's those things that will tell. And so we meet in remembrance of a mind so soft and true. We're here to pay our last respects to say that, Granny, we love you. And let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our sister Babs may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And just before our concluding prayers, uh, Martin would like to address us. I just want to say a few words about mother. Everyone knew mother. She was involved in everything in the community. She had great friends, both from her youth and when she came to Carrigmapeka. Paddy sat in the corner who didn't say a lot. Mother was the boss of our house. What mother said went. I'd like to thank Mother for all she'd done for us, for the four of us. She was always there. No matter what we wanted to do, she was encouraging us. If it went wrong, it didn't matter. Get up and go again. That was always her story. Hard work never killed anyone. When illness came to Mother's door, she fought it well. From the public health nurses, the first that came was Anne Welch. Every one of them were good. All along. She had great cares, Liz Roach and all the gang. They looked after her to the bitter end. She had a great friend in Lil Tracy. Lil was always with her. Even when she didn't know Lil, Lil stayed coming. She'd load her up and bring her off the was Laura Marks past, the very same as if mother was there in mine. I'd like to thank Elaine and all the staff at Bethany House when she went on the day of care. They looked after her to the best, to the best as well. Patrick and Cathy, when she had company, she was happy. Cathy was small and when things would go wrong, she'd come running out and she'd say, Daddy, you may come in. She's gone to sort of look first. But that was the way it was. Dr. McLaughlin and Anne Quigley looked after her in St. Gabriel's. And then she went to Thomastown. Joan Murphy and all the team in St. Mary's looked after her well while she was on her feet. Brought her in lots of activities and trips, tram and arboretum. 
she enjoyed them all. She was to enjoy being out. When she went off her feet, then she went to Marie and all the team in St. Bridget's Ward. That's where she finished up. And at the better end, they were still there, the very same as she was their own. They looked after us as well as they looked after their mother. And I'd like to thank them all for everything they done. I'd like to thank Father Pat, Father Rory and Father Shem, John Joyce, Tom Murphy for the music, all the neighbours and friends that called and done everything in the house, prepared all the food over the last few days. If I forget anyone, I'm sorry, I don't mean to. But it'll be hard to think at times like this. But that's all now, and I'll, I'll leave it at that. I just to add to that, thanks to all, thank all who were involved in today's Mass, to thank our musician and singer who added so much to our liturgy, to our sacristan, uh, um, I'm going to blank, Eileen, to our sacristan Eileen, and to thank, all, uh, to thank you, Bab's family, because your participation in the Mass has made it a fitting tribute to Bab's. And to, to thank again Father Shem for being with us uh, today as well. The Lord be with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Before we go our separate ways, let us take a leave of our sister Babs. May our farewell express our affection for her. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet Babs again, when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. And so I invite uh, you to take a few moments in silence now to pray for the repose of Babs' soul, as I invite Father Shen to, or to sprinkle her remains with holy water, reminding us of her baptism, and then he will reverence her remains with incense, reminding us that throughout her time on this earth, Bab's body was a dwelling place, a temple of the Holy Spirit. Saints of God, come to our aid. Hasten to meet her, angels of the Lord. Amen. 
receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. May Christ to call you take you to himself. May angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. And so we pray. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend Babs, in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, Babs will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Babs in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to Babs and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and we are with you and, Bab, and with Babs forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Babs, may the saints and angels lead you on, escorting you to where Christ has gone. Now he has called you, come to him who sits above the seraphim. Come to the peace of Abraham and to the supper of the Lamb. Come to the glory of the blessed and to, to, and to perpetual light and rest. May the choirs of angels welcome you, Babs, and lead you to the bosom of Abraham. And where Lazarus is poor no longer, may you now find eternal rest. And so it is in peace we take Babs to her resting place. <laughs> Let us pray. O oh God, by whose mercy the faithful departed find rest, bless this grave and send your holy angel to watch over it as we bury here the body of our sister Babs. Deliver her soul from every bond of sin that she may rejoice in you and with your saints forever. This prayer we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord now bless this grave. May he grant Babs eternal rest and peace, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Because God has chosen to call Babs from this life to himself, we commit our body to its resting place.
But the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory. For he is risen, the firstborn from the dead. So we commend Babs to the Lord, that the Lord may embrace her in peace and raise up her body on the last day. Dear friends, in reverence, let us pray to God, the source of all mercies. You raise the dead to life, give to Babs eternal life. We pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord you consoled Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to us who mourn for Babs and dry the tears of those who weep. We pray to the Lord, Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of Babs. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We pray for all who are buried in this, in this cemetery. May their joy be increased. May the light of glory shine on them. <coughs> and may they rest in peace. We pray to the Lord, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, we pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We offer up now the first glorious mystery, the rosary, the resurrection, for the repose of Bab's soul. And maybe, Father Shem, you lead us in the day. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Work without end, the men. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, in our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry for banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn thou, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exiles, show to us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Pray for us, the most holy mother of God. Amen. And so we pray, God of holiness and power, accept our prayers on behalf of Babs. Do not count her deeds against her, for in our hearts she desired to do your will. As our faith united her to your people on earth, so may your mercy join her to the angels in heaven. This prayer we make to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We bow our heads and we pray for God's blessing. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. This prayer we make through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the prayers of Mary, the mother of God, who stood by the cross as her son was dying, help all those who mourn for Babs and accompany all of us in our time of need. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord. Let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. The 
Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless each one of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. I don't know if the family, are you assembling for to meet people? Yeah. yeah. But if you are going to meet the family, uh, they'll probably assemble somewhere here in the graveyard. Just give them the opportunity. But if you are, I'd ask you, certainly no shaking of hands and also keep your uh, expressions of uh, sympathy brief and just keep moving along in the interest and safety.